Golf Karting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. So I'm excited to put this thing together today. This is the uh, Sound Extreme by Eco X gear. Uh, mainly, I'm really excited about the sound bar. This is the 28 inch, um, but most importantly, it is battery powered. So I've got zero wires. So for somebody like me, who's not technical, uh, this is like a dream sound bar. So I'm really excited. Um, it's got all other kinds of stuff, which we'll tell you as we get in, but then I've also got uh, the Extreme Strip from also Sound Extreme that is gonna do some underglow lights. The nice thing is that all of this stuff uh, connects together with our EcoCast system and it's gonna be awesome to see how this all turns out. Three, two, one. One quick thing I wanted to just point out whenever you're putting, if you happen to be using these. So what I did whenever I put mine in, uh, we just used the standard, like the, the installation brackets that come with the kit. We didn't have any uh, added brackets that we get. And we just connected it to the crossbar there. Um, so we use these little uh, clamps. And the one thing to remember, if there's any metal on metal, and what we did first and kind of messed up, so I'm telling you why. Um, you'd think, because they're curved this way, that you would put it on like this and it just kind of all fits. And maybe you wouldn't think, maybe you'd do it better than I did, but that's what we thought. So what, whenever you're putting it on here, so what we did is we just kind of cut a piece of this to be able to go on, but then we just you slide that on to the, to the clamp there. And then this is the part that's up underneath the metal um, so that metal bar is going here. So just something I wanted to throw in there as far as installation tip. All right, so now for the uh, LED light strip. So this is the Extreme Strip from Sound Extreme by Eco X Gear. Um, this is the two and four passenger version that we've got uh, for my cart, which is four passenger. And I also have a six passenger version as well. Um, so we got the bar all set in. So we're actually connecting the strips to the sound bar, which is gonna control the zones associated with what we can do with the different lights and things like that. So on the sound bar, it actually has two zones, the front and the back, and then it has a, a connected zone three and zone four to be able to connect to other things. So whether it's uh, underglow lights, under the roof lights, whips, whatever you wanna have on there. So that all connects together. But the way this is gonna work is this guy plugs into here um, and we had looked at trying to fit it possibly into the strut, but there's some screws in there. And so rather than taking all that kind of stuff out, as I referenced before, the whole reason that I wanted to have a battery powered uh, sound bar was because I don't do wiring. Um, but the nice thing is this is all very plug and play, nice and easy. So that's gonna get plugged into there and then we're gonna zip tie it and just kind of hide it as much as we can on the way down in. And one of the things we did uh, through the process is we just kind of laid this out. Uh, in the instructions, you've got um, how this all works, but this will be the one here. And then it goes through the process and goes around. And there's, there's three on the side and then one in the front and then three on the other side and then one that comes back across. The one main thing, and, and they'll show it uh, in the instructions, but these arrows just go away from the controller. So... Uh, it's coming out from there and then going around and then it'll end as it comes in the back. So we're gonna put this together and see what it looks like. So we got everything done, everything is in place. I'll give you some close-up shots here in a second. But one thing I wanted to talk about was these little guys. So with the LEDs, like I said, I'll show you here in a sec. Uh, they had a lot of extra um, different, different lengths that were connected to the things so that you didn't have to um, if you didn't need the space, you could reduce the space in between each of the lights and things. So 
Um, brilliant thinking on Sound Extreme's uh, idea or on their mind. And then also just really, really easy to make these connections as it went through underneath. I'm gonna show you now, kind of walk around the cart and show you what we did. All right, so here is the remote and it's got everything you can possibly imagine uh, on there as far as different zones and how you can control the lights. There's all kinds of preset things and everything on there, which is awesome. Um, you can control this from an app as well. The speaker turned out great. So you can see the installation of how we did that. I uh, used the clamps plus the standard uh, installation kind of end caps there. And it worked out great. Like I said, this is one of the, the soft uh, canvas tops, uh, Bimini top from Red Dot and it worked out uh, really well as far as where the placement is. This thing is awesome. It sounds fantastic. The uh, battery, like I said, there's zero wires outside of connecting it back to the, the LEDs, which I'll show you here in a second, but this battery is awesome. So there's zero wires to get this whole speaker put in that uh, has like a 20 hour lasting uh, charge and it's really really nice as far as the sound on that goes i wish i could present that to you here via video but i don't think i could do do it justice but very very cool uh, as far as underneath goes so i'm going to show you a little bit of stuff that you can kind of see so uh, lights up under down here behind the back wheels, we did screw them in. They have a, a nice 3M attachment um, in the back. And uh, it's hard to show where all the other ones are, but we got them lined up underneath here and then up under here as well. So you can see that I've got them up behind the wheels there. Um, everything is going to work nice. It'll be good once we get all the all of the darkness uh, showing up, but um, again, what we were able to do with these back ones was there's a there's a strip of that 3M stuff that goes behind it, and then we just screwed it in uh, at the top, and then one little screw down there at the bottom. I'm gonna lay down here real quick and show you what the bottom looks like. So here is one of the strips and the connectors Everything is waterproof. And then we just ran that along the line there, and then it goes up into the one in the front. But um, I'll try to take some still pictures maybe, and we can roll those in just to kind of show you how that all looks. But we have them along the sides and then up underneath both wheels and then under the back and under the front. And I think that's gonna look awesome. So there she is, looks great. Speaker turned out awesome, sound extreme. You guys rock, very, very cool. Can't wait to have some fun with that. While the speaker is wireless and just charged by the battery, we did connect the um, speaker through to the LEDs. So this runs down and then down the back all the way down through and underneath. But um, again, nice and clean and easy. It connects to everything so that it all runs in one piece. And then we've even gotten some, uh, a fourth zone that I'm not currently using that we can expand uh, even more. But again, just the way that that all connects is just so easy.